Welcome to footballgameplan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, and we're here at the Waldorf Astoria, where the 2014 National Football Foundation College Football Hall of Fame press conferences will take place, and we're going to take a look at some of the sights and some of the sounds from today's press conferences. Old Mrs. tight end Wesley Walls finds himself entering the College Football Hall of Fame after playing strictly as a defensive end for his first three seasons in Oxford. The 1988 team captain transformed into a two-way player as a senior at tight end. He amassed 36 receptions for 426 yards and three touchdowns at tight end en route to earning AP First Team All-America honors and All-SEC honors. As a defensive end, he recorded 140 tackles, including 19 and a half TFLs and five and a half sacks. Walls goes on to explain how he made the switch possible and the one coach that guided him in the right direction. Thank you, Bunny. I'm uh, truly honored to be here. I grew up in a small town just outside of Oxford, Ole Miss. And the day uh, I got the call from Archie Manning, I was overwhelmed with emotion. I, I always wanted to attend Ole Miss, and Archie Manning was a hero of mine. And, I, and to hear him say that I just got selected into the College Football Hall of Fame, I just I broke down. And then immediately I started thinking about all the people that helped me along the way, that believed in me when I didn't believe in myself. And I got all 50 of them here this week. <laughs> just about, I'll tell you, my uncle. Uh, my high school football coach, Billy Brewer, the college coach at Ole Miss, and Coach Robert Youngblood, who recruited me to Ole Miss. Those guys were there for me at a time when I felt like I couldn't go forward and I wanted to quit. And I really appreciate them believing in me and allowing me to move forward. I'm also truly humbled to represent Ole Miss. I'm proud to be a representative of Ole Miss in the College Football Hall of Fame. Some people might forget you were actually a DN your first few years in college, and then you had a conversation with Red Parker, who was your offensive coordinator at the time, and he said, why don't you give tight end a look? Can you reflect back on that conversation and ultimately how much it's meant when you consider that you know that's where your bread and butter was and you went to five Pro Bowls as a tight end in the pros? Yeah, I was, uh, we were at spring practice. We had just hired Coach Parker's offensive of coordinator. I'm a defensive end. Trying to make my way as a defensive end, and they were throwing the football around. <clears throat> the quarterback seeing how far they could throw it, and I picked it up, I threw it 76 yards, I threw every one of them, and Coach Parker ran over to me and said, have you ever played tight end? I said, yes sir, I played in the uh, Mississippi High School All-Star game. He asked me how I did, and I, I said, seven passes, 97 yards, and a touchdown. He said, give me two weeks at tight end, and I can make you an All-Pro in the NFL. Good. I called Red Parker when I got selected, Coach, you're right. I want you here. He's still coaching. I believe he's 85 years old in a golf cart riding around coaching high school football. He couldn't be here, but he changed my life. 